Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs. And it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 10th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at uh, ARK Innovation. And as I said in yesterday's analysis, this is kind of what I expected. A rally up towards the 200 moving average and uh, a rejection at the 200 moving average. So... The 200 moving average is no longer acting as um, support, it is acting as resistant. Whether or not we manage to break uh, through here, well, we'll probably run into the 20 exponential and then continue your breaking down. That is uh, a possibility, but uh, it's a fairly, um, fairly big rejection here at the 20 exponential moving average. We're still up, uh, as most of the tech market is, and the CDF is basically just uh, tech stocks, most of them. So if we look at technical English for, for ARK Innovation, we can see that the MACD is very bearish. We are on the edge of being oversold in the RSI. It is still, it is fairly bullish at this point. So CCI is bearish and the stochastic is still bearish. You can see that we were significantly outside of the Bollinger Band here. Expectation was that we're going to get a much bigger rally, but it is quite a fairly pathetic rally actually, um, considering how overstretched this actually is. If we were to rally from here, we'll most likely run into massive resistance at the middle of the bullish band that's up at the 50 moving average as well at 120, if you basically get to that. To the downside, if you take out this bottom, then we'll head all the way down to 95 at the 300 moving average. So let's look at DVI. So DVI is a, a continuing to rally. Um, it is getting fairly overstretched at this point. You can see that we have been outside of the bullish band for several uh, days now, and it's only a matter of time before this snaps back towards the middle of the bullish band. So at this point, the farther this goes up, the bigger difference it becomes. And at the point is a drop of 3.6% to the downside if we were to drop towards support as we did right here. So technical indicators otherwise are very bullish. There is no uh, question about that. MACD is bullish, the RSI is bullish, but it is overbought at this point. CCI is bullish and so is the stochastic. So pullback is kind of expected at this current stage. So VTI. So VTI is approaching the top, had a little bit of pullback in uh, the, uh, now at the end of the session. You can also see that we're approaching the top of the bullish band. We hit the bottom here, so 214, that is technically the bottom, and the top should be 219. That's where we're supposed to uh, pull back, but we are pulling back earlier. So maybe a Monday, it will rally a little bit and then pull back yet again. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. The MACD is bearish, the CCI is bullish, that's, um, and that's the, no, the RSI, sorry, is bullish, the CCI is uh, becoming bullish, and the stochastic has just crossed the signal line. But still, um, we need more clarity whether or not we are going to head into a bullish uh, territory. So at this point, we could see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band or the bottom, it should be massive support. So let's look at MCHI. So uh, we are just stuck here at um, 200 moving average. Uh, if you look at other technical indicators, they are technically very flat, but we have also just, been, there's nothing been happening the last four trading days. We had a bigger pullback on Tuesday, but otherwise the last three days, nothing has really happened. MACD is still bearish and the RSI is flat. The CCI is in bearish territory and the stochastic is also very bearish. We uh, did the rally and then we broke down. So we could see a breakdown here on the Monday. If that occurs, then we could all do, drop all the way down to the 300 moving average. And that's a drop of 7.7%. .7%. To the upside, 20 exponential. Um, that's a rally of give or take 1.5%. That should be major uh, resistant. The same goes for the 50 moving average. That's a rally of give or take 3% to the upside. So it is to be seen there is need to be more clarity whether or not we're going down or we're going up in this ETF. So IVV. So um, yes, this is getting fairly out of hand. So we did uh, we did fall uh, earlier this week and then we rallied. So this is a rally of give or take at this point of two and a half percent. We're getting really overstretched here in the Bollinger Band and uh, pullback could be expected. 
Technical indicators are very bullish. And uh, yes, this is basically breaking the all-time high support for this ETF. You can see how far we have come since the drop uh, last year in the, uh, when the coronavirus started. We are basically a rally of 85.64% uh, to the upside, or give or take there. So 80, 83%, 84% to the upside in one year, which is very good, to be very honest. Pullbacks from here will most likely find major resistance at support at the 20 exponential, the 40, and the 50. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.